Charm, so I welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Charmaine, so make sure you drop your blue hearts in the comment section below and also subscribe to my channel. So you guys, today is Friday. We, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this video because I was like, is this gonna be too much B-roll at one time? But as you guys have already seen, or I'll probably be popping it up now, we have donated we went to the storage unit we got everything out that i was trying to sell as far as like clothes dishes and all that stuff like that and we have donated it we went to the wesley center which is a women's shelter i know i was talking to you guys about that on my last video that i wanted to donate items to the women's shelter um they did not take dishes or anything like that they just only needed clothes shoes and food so i had told her um whenever i'm in the process of moving i'll bring the food up here then you're gonna go in and get it okay um tell them like it was dishes all that because they gotta put it on there um and since they couldn't take all of the other stuff we just came to the salvation army which is like a mom and pop salvation army it, it is a family store and i actually shop here and their items are always reasonably priced they even have some stuff out here that i'm over here looking at but i'm like uh -uh, i don't need it i don't need it i don't need it because i be following like thrifted tales and um shay regis and that girl they they the goat for turning something old and making it look good so if you don't follow them check them out over there on instagram but yeah um so i brought my dishes and like all of my little miscellaneous items items like i had uh i had a stand like a tv stand i had a lot of stuff plates glasses um a lot a lot so what we're about to do now since we got everything donated jeremy went inside to go get the receipt um, I'm getting ready to go to Dollar Tree to see if they have those paint palettes in again. And then since I'm already over this way, I'll go ahead and go to Hobby Lobby and get some paint brushes because I doubt if Dollar Tree have any. And if they do have some, they ain't going to be good quality. But yes, I just had to come on in and just open up the vlog. I probably not even show you guys like us going inside Dollar Tree just getting the last minute items. I may just start back up fresh on tomorrow when we get up and go to New Orleans. We are going to plan to be there between 9 and 9.30. Um, the picnic don't start until 1 o'clock, but with this being a 20-person picnic, I wanted to make sure that we have ample amount of time to set up take pictures i want to re-sanitize everything like i got my cleaning stuff so i need to i want to re-wash dishes re-sanitize these re i want to do everything over because just like with traveling and stuff like that all that stuff you know it just be all over the place so we're gonna re-sanitize that so um yeah that's what we'll do we'll just pick back up in the morning here got my baby uh, you put it in there, in there put that head put on there What's wrong with you? Yeah. Say hey to the people, baby. Wait a minute. There you go. You okay, baby? I'm going next. I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree. And I was just telling them that I'm not even gonna worry about um, blogging anymore until tomorrow when we actually get in New Orleans and we set up and then whatever else we decide to do so yeah welcome to the vlog make sure y'all drop y'all blue hearts in the comment section below like i said earlier make sure you like this video if you haven't liked this video make sure you go ahead and pause and like this video y'all we over here by dirt cheap and i ain't even going ain't that so but make sure you pause this video right now go ahead and like it and we finna get started with 24 hours in new orleans so let's get it <music> Hey y'all, so let me give y'all a little bit of context because we ran into some rain coming from Mississippi to Louisiana. It was about a three hour drive for us and y'all, it was pouring down rain. So we actually ended up getting there a little bit after 9.30. I think I want to say around about 9 49, 50. And then when we got there, we were trying to decide if we were going to set up inside or outside because there was some rain in the forecast there as well. So I'm glad we did not even set up outside because when we finished setting up inside, y'all, 
it was raining outside and i would have been so upset if we had to move everything um jeremy and i we did do this setup inside of my apartment so he knew how everything had to be set up and while he was setting up everything i was like legit over there washing all the dishes sanitizing everything like i it was so much going on that i didn't even pull out my second phone to be able to show you guys what i was doing i was just like look let me just have it over here on you so you can see what you was doing because because, you know they were cooking breakfast and all that stuff like that and i didn't want to be in their personal space because y'all it, it was just a lot going on but everything turned out so beautifully they enjoyed it we got so many compliments and y'all i was just so proud of us like i was really really proud of us and yeah these are some of the shots that we got have not been able to like just talk to y'all or anything like that but it is currently 1209 we have made it inside we have made it to new orleans we're at the um river world river walk outlet collection because there is a cosmetic coupling store inside uh if i haven't already but go ahead and insert the footage that we were able to capture and I'm glad, as y'all can see, it's raining and we was about to get ready to set up outside, but we made the space inside fit because it was a little bit smaller than what we expected. But uh, we was able to make everything fit. It looks so good, you guys. And I'm not just saying it because, you know, we did it, but it looks really, really good. It looked really, really nice. And that was our largest picnic yet. Um, they loved it. Um, got, gave her, told her where everything was at, told her I'd work everything. Of course, she already knew how to work everything. Um, she was satisfied with it. Her dad loved it. The people that were there coming in, they loved it. So that's all I can ask for. So we've done our part. Uh, we may go pick it up either later on this evening or tomorrow before we head out. Because I thought they was checking out on tomorrow, but they're not leaving until um monday so this gives us a full day they can have that set up for a full day um so jeremy and i we can kind of get around and do everything that we have to do baby can that stuff fit in that trunk it, it full how i got no i got no two containers in there hey what our suitcase i thought we were gonna be able to leave the suitcase in there oh oh yeah here go here go babe you ain't gonna speak what's up y'all See, y'all, and yeah, y'all be y'all be killing me on water line Wednesday. Y'all be taking over Jerry, but Jerry don't be speaking to y'all. Jerry don't even rock with y'all. But y'all be y'all be saying it in me. It don't even be me, it be him. And I be y'all be taking off on. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. It's gonna be 24 hours in New Orleans. We were gonna do the swamp tour, but y'all, it's raining. So we're not gonna do that. So we're probably gonna find something else to do. We're not gonna be able to check into our room until four o'clock. We made it down here. What time we made it here, baby? Like nine fifty. We made it to their Airbnb at nine fifty. Yeah, and it, yeah, and it took us about two hours to set up everything. And look, they can have at it. They can enjoy. It was really nice. I think what really took the longest was because we were trying to figure out the tables, and then I had to wash all those dishes and cups and stuff again. But yeah, y'all, let us go ahead and get out the car. Let's go inside this outlet mall. Let's find the cosmetic company uh, so your girl can get some makeup because I was first introduced to it when I was in Grapevine, Texas. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get out and I'm going to take y'all along with it. Our creative aesthetic shirts, black, black, and some tennis shoes. So let's go.
you look like a wild man. I should have brought my clip. Yep, I should have brought. Oh, that's perfect. We got it, y'all. She shot on every makeup brand you can find in here. Oh, that's perfect. What's up, y'all? So we have left out of the river walk. We're actually in our hotel, but I don't think we could check in right now. Y'all, I had to come by this shirt, baby. I had my, I did Jeremy's shirt, and I had my um, what the thing called? Oh, what is it called? Like my little waist trainer, because I knew we were gonna be doing a lot of moving. Who is this waist trainer by? By Queen Resi Resistance. I had found them on. Instagram and I had ordered some stuff from her. She from New Orleans actually. And I ordered some stuff from her when I um when she had a sale going on, baby. And that that little vest, it's like a workout vest, baby. That thing feels so good. It keeps you all just tucked in. But yeah, that's what I had on and I had uh this underneath it. Cause I don't like that material on my stomach. Like against my skin. It just feel funny. But yeah, it's 2 11 now. Jeremy trying to see if we can go ahead and check in early. Cause y'all, when I tell y'all we tired, we went to the cosmetic company, y'all, and they now have an online site. If this video, um I hope I hope they still had a six for sixty going on. I'ma post it on my stories on Instagram and in my stories on TikTok, and I'm also gonna post it on uh, YouTube as well. So if y'all not following me, y'all need to make sure y'all subscribe and y'all are following my Instagram and my TikTok like mostly because I update my stories frequently. Long as I'm gone from that location, I up up updated and upload on it but yeah they got their makeup six for sixty dollars it is full size items the only item that you could get was tom ford and another one i can't remember what it is but yeah you get six full size items for sixty dollars that's ten dollars per item so i got me some y'all probably could see i got some blush by Estee Lauder. I got some concealer by Estee Lauder. And I got the pressed powder by Estee Lauder. And then I got uh, a primer, a setting spray, and a foundation. But it's more like skin light. I forgot who it's by, but it's like a sheer foundation. Is it by me? I don't know. But whoever the girl was in there, uh, Braylon, she... Shout out to you, girl. So if you watching this video because you said you was going to hook a girl up, text me. If you haven't already texted me by the time you see this video, text your girl. Um, so we can connect. So we, you know, because yeah, I look, I'm be coming to you. But yeah, when we went down there, y'all, it was nothing but black women working in there. And I was like, oh, I need you to match me for some foundation. I need you to match me for some concealer because y'all, like, I, you know, I don't have a no problem with other people matching me, but it just, it's nothing like a black person matching you because it was just, I had a lady to match me one time and she went black baby when I tell you she didn't talk about the oxidizing in the makeup or nothing I looked at like a pumpkin you hear me a pumpkin it was so orange and red for the undertone of that foundation after it had oxidized so my undertone right here is yellow and then right here is more cool and more neutral. Baby, I was so dark on orange and red. You talking about somebody was pissed off. And since we are, like, you, y'all know I'm staying, I stay in the South. So I wanted to make sure that I got something that was kind of lightweight. So she was like, yeah, it's a tinted moisturizer, whatever I got. I'm going to show you guys all of it. And plus, I'm going to do a reel. So once again, y'all not follow me over there. Y'all need to follow your girl over there. Oh, Instagram. Pop it up again. Boom. But, yeah. <laughs> I got, like, a tinted moisturizer or whatever it is. And it's just so lightweight. Like, she kept it right here. Because y'all know my skin is darker right here because I have a natural contour. So, she put it right there. And then she added some blush. And I was a little hesitant about the blush, girl. Because I was like, girl, I don't wear blush. But when she, first of all, she looked for that blush for about 10 minutes. Because she was like, oh, no. You said you don't wear blush. Blush on brown skin is just beautiful and she was like this is my favorite one so we i had to get it because she was looking for it too long so i had to make sure i got that one but yeah trying to see if we're going to be able to check into our hotel room um early hold on jerry we'll come back out to the guy we got to pay to check in early oh you already got the room yes Big. <laughs> yes. We on the first floor? No, I don't know. I want the tent. The tent? Tent. It's tent floor? Shit, more than that. 
child. What hotel? What's the name of this hotel? Alder? Alder? Out, out. It'll, it'll, it'll be parking right across the road. It's spelled A L D E R Hotel Alder Hotel. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. There go, baby. Again. I'm back, y'all. But yeah, uh, hey, I'm gonna see if y'all. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Damn! I, let, turn it loose. I dropped y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, fuck them. You be dropping them. What's up, y'all, man? I'm back. Y'all be hungry, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't be trying to know what I'm saying. If I say something, I'm going to be disrespectful with it. That's why I don't say nothing. Oh, hold on. What man. you going to be disrespectful with them for? I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I'll be myself. I mean, I even need a snicker, y'all. Like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up, Jerry. <laughs> so you can't talk when you be hungry. Oh, hell no. I don't want to talk. Y'all, and I'm going to kill both of us. I went down the wrong one way. I swear to God, did you get mad like I did? I didn't motherfucking do no, it. No, I got mad at Jerry because he was like, bang, bang, bang. Like, motherfucker, if, if I already recognize I did wrong, I don't need you to emphasize. Go, 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 go. I don't be doing wrong and make me wreck. Like, this motherfucker see this big-ass car. Well, ain't that big about Motherfucker, they see this car. But y'all, let me tell y'all, if y'all, we're gonna of course get into the room tour and stuff. So if y'all end up staying over here, I'm gonna give y'all the tea on the room tour. But just to let y'all know, y'all are you in the middle of the hood. You feel me? Oh, uh, and which I'm fine with it. But we in the middle yeah, of the hood, it's, baby. Exactly, ten folks. It's baby. like a legit hotel and houses over here. Like, look how close the houses. Look at that fucking girl. And yeah, I'm gonna show y'all when we get out. I so just beware if y'all stay over here. Y'all in the hood. I got my handicap stick. Why you scared to park in the handicap? Baby, they decide. You got to go here, shit. They decide. God damn. But yeah, let me uh, let me put this shirt on because I don't need nobody to see my skin. I swear to God, I, don't, I hate to have a goddamn. Yeah, God, they do. When we was in the mall, he he can't be looking at me. I, I hate that unalive motherfucker. What y'all be saying, unalive? I hate to unalive him, motherfucker, man. <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the ball head dude looking at me. What you head said? I don't know. Got them pop top. Got them ball ass head. Got them. He was looking at your girl. I like, yo, you better yeah. know it. Hell. Yeah, you better know it too. Both of y'all come up missing that in New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. <sighs> yeah, you stinking me out there. Got that face. All right, child. Let, let, me, let us get situated to get out of the car. All right, child. So, like, this is what we was talking about. So, these are the houses. This is free parking. So, it does have free parking. My car right here, Lord. But like, it's a hospital down here, and here is the actual hotel. It is. Let me double do it here. So yeah, we all way at the top. But like, just so y'all know, so y'all won't be, you know, like with the foot. It is in the middle of the hood, which is fine. And the hospital right there, if anything happens. Something happened to us. Yeah, we been down to the hospital. That baby love went for it. Dallas vlog in the comment section. Yeah, but she, they could have had a living room over there. Y'all, because there's so much space over here. Yeah. But yeah, let me, yeah, let me check the beds and stuff. All right, y'all. So we are dressed. It's currently 437. Like, it's after 430. So they let us check the in early, which was a good thing. I don't know what we're gonna do. We probably just gonna go on Bourbon Street. I just got on a simple black puffer type shirt with my green pants and my Jesus sandals. There go Bay. 
with his jeans and his Nike shirt on. But yeah, we finna ready to do something. We don't know what we finna do, but we finna find something to do. Y'all, I'm sorry for cutting in again, but do you see that girl over there with the camera with the white shirt and the blue pants? Like, when I cut off that last clip, she was walking up to me. She wanted to dance with me. She noticed that I was recording. I was vlogging and stuff as well. She does have a YouTube channel, so I'm going to pop it up here. Y'all go follow her. Show her some love. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't got no boot. What 
to push it up. Oh, big. Big. Uh, who do I want? Do I want Yoshi? I think I want Yoshi. Okay, baby. I'm gonna whoop his ass. check out so I'm gonna take you guys along with us because we're going to a brunch spot what's the name of it nice guys nice guys so we're going to a brunch spot called nice guys um I did put up a poll on my Instagram on yesterday so if you guys are not following me on my Instagram at Tremaine Hoskin make sure that y'all follow me because when I go to different areas I always ask you guys for suggestions on where we should eat at and this was one of the recommendations um but yeah thank you guys to everyone who submitted something because i will be coming back next month with my sister so we need some places to go babe what's wrong the job let go but yeah we're gonna um check out and then we're gonna go somewhere and eat and we'll take you guys along with it Walking to the spot, I will say that we are underdressed <laughs> because, baby, they lit. It's a line outside the door, but we gotta go pick up our picnic stuff after this. And I wasn't finna be dressed up trying to do that. Yeah, Jim been trying to get some damn chicken wings. I abandoned him from chicken wings the whole time we was in Atlanta. Jeremy ate nothing but chicken wings. But y'all, it's a lot of little different. We parked over there at the daycare. The places down here, I'm gonna show y'all in one second. Let us get across this road. They're not making the youth. Yeah. Look at the heated vault. There's a lot of stuff over here, y'all. Done. We are done. That was my first 
large picnic that was a picnic of, of 20 you guys and like i was telling you guys earlier we were supposed to do this picnic last year and man shout out to ashanti because she was actually the first person to ever book with me on um, last year and put down homegirl put down her deposit and everything like i sent her the price and i was like oh that's a lot homegirl was like Shoot, here and i was just like man that's what's up so i appreciate you so much ashanti thank you so much you know for believing in me for booking with me being my first booking ever and i know hurricane ida had kind of you know postponed and messed up some plans and all that from last year but we came back i'm so glad that you guys enjoyed yourselves i'm, I'm so glad to receive all the compliments and things that we had got when we was coming back to pick everything up everything looked absolutely beautiful the food looked good too girl look we had just finished eating so we couldn't even take that thing. and as you can see the car is filled to the brim. You hear me? Because Jeremy and I, we was just like throwing stuff in the car. And um, like, I didn't even ask y'all, did y'all have a vacuum? Because we could have sucked these bags all down. But it's okay. I got a review camera and everything like that. But man, thank y'all once again so much. I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. Jeremy and I is fit to get ready to go ahead and get on the road. We got to take everything out. We got to get everything sanitized, get everything clean, and everything put back up. So, um, yeah, we'll probably put it back up at a later date, but I need to, you know, clean and wash all of it. But anyway, thank y'all so much, so, so much for um, watching this video. If you guys have any questions or anything um, concerning to the places and things that we have went to, please, 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 please check my description box. Yeah, if it ain't one thing, I'm going to have that description box packed out with so much information um, because I just know how it feels to watch people and y'all they go in places that they don't put where it is so i got y'all my description box is always jail packed with everything from the room from the hotel we stayed in from the places we went and ate at hell i'm gonna even put the airbnb just case y'all want to book this airbnb when you come down here to the new orleans area it's about 15 20 minutes outside of new orleans but it's, it's worth it because it was very 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 um affordable even when i was looking at some of the dates and i think it sleeps up to about 10 people so i could put that airbnb information down i don't get no type of payment or anything from that um so yeah that'll just be for y'all to do but they're gonna bae say hey man what's up y'all how how was everything for you everything good brunch was good yeah oh i forgot to tell y'all so the place we went to like i said i'm having a description box but the place we went to was called nice guy y'all it was off the chain i would say if y'all are going to sit outside if you're more conservative sit inside it'll still be lit vibes and stuff but baby outside they were lit they were turned up outside you know of course it is gonna be a little bit hotter they do got the fans and the dj is actually outside as well so uh but yeah that we went to the place called nice guy it was really really good shout out to i don't know who sent it to me because i think it was like two or three people that actually sent it to me i'm gonna go ahead and pop y'all name up there and i'm also gonna pop up um the other places the suggestion that you guys had uh told me about just in case if y'all wanted to come down here y'all can check out some of these places as well uh Barber street was lit everything was lit everything was like man we had a, we had a blast we had a blast um so yeah thank y'all so much for watching this video to the end make sure y'all drop your blue heart make sure y'all like this video make sure that y'all comment and make sure y'all subscribe and i will see you guys on my next one bye y'all